He has 60 minions. What? Oh, JD9, what are you doing to us? And we're back with another match of Space Station Gaming versus Nice Monkey. They got a new lineup today. At least two new players. Rip. Let's see what they can do here. Blah is in with the first attack on JD9's base. Another toxic ring base. Oh, baby. I love it from JD9. And Blah is going in with the E-Dragon attack. Okay. Let's see what he can do. Wizard to funnel at 9 o'clock. Nice. Sends a wall breaker and the queen with unicorn from up at 1230. King out in front with the yak in as well. They're going to be able to clear a nice chunk of the base over here from the top down to the right side. Then looks like E-Dragons from the top left side. Here we go. E-Dragons, Balloon, Warden. Do we see the early Warden ability? Double Rage, early as heck Warden ability, and the Blimp for the Town Hall. Classic E-Dragon stuff right here. Pop the Queen ability on the top side of the base. She clears the Eagle, gets a few more buildings as well. King's going to pop his ability, gets the Air Defense over on the right side. That's nice. Blimp makes it to the Town Hall. There's a Tesla farm there. We're going to freeze. Down goes the Town Hall. Hopefully the E-Dragons don't take too much damage from the Giga Poison. We need some more chain value here as we path through the bottom side of the base. We send the Royal Champion from the top side. Okay. Two E-Dragons get stuck in the core. Giga Poison actually doing a crap ton of damage to them. E-Dragons on the left side are not staying inside the rage. The Lava Dog gets pulled from the Clan Castle, and that's bad news bears for Blah. Royal Champion gets stuck on that. Warden goes down. E-Dragons get clashed, and it's going to be a massive defense for JD9 and for Space Station to start off this match. Oh, baby. Road Champion gonna die to the Lava Pups there, and he will be able to get a couple more percentage points on the south side, just one more. I think the Pups are gonna kill everybody else, and he's gonna naturally get 69%, lol. He didn't even have to end it early. What a pog attack, dude. Amazing way to start off the match, but not able to get it done for Blow. Agent 33 is in with the first attack for Space Station Gaming. Coming in with a, oh gosh, dear heavens, queen charge, super archers with bats. Yes, I love it. Let's see what he can do. Starts off with a warden walk. Okay, so it's not really a queen charge. Warden walk on the top side for the scatter shot. All right, going to be able to take that out nice and early. Yeti over at 830, grabs a few buildings. Wall breaker in from the 10 o'clock side. Looks like we're going to be entering over at 10 o'clock. We send the golem to pull the warden, freeze the warden tower. Bro, warden doesn't follow golems? What the heck? Okay, he follows super archers though. King going in, super archers going in. Couple balloons to get out in front. Warden tower switches targets to the golem. That golem got absolutely wrecked super duper early. Where's the jump spell? Where's the jump spell, agent? There we go, jump spell all the way to the core. That's looking beautiful. We got a blimp for the town hall. He's gonna send it from three o'clock, nice. Because the town hall is touching the walls, he probably doesn't need any spells whatsoever to make sure that town hall goes down. That's beautiful. Still holding on to that warden ability. Could drop it anytime he wants to. He's holding on to that warden ability. Since the royal champion from 8 o'clock, she's going to walk down. Remember, we still got bat spells. We still got bat spells. Four wizards for cleanup. The lava hound gets pulled out of the CC. Pop the warden ability, sir. Ooh, that timing was perfect. Right as the super archers were about to get absolutely hammered by that scatter shot. And they still might. They're not getting out of range. Okay, down goes the scatter. Thank goodness. Poison spell for the pups. Down goes the town hall thanks to the blimp. Row champion can clear the south side inferno tower. And all he has to do is bat bomb the top side inferno. Queen pops her ability. We still got tons of super archers alive in the core. Row champion pops her ability. Needs to get the cleanup wizards down on the south side of the base. Row champion is going to die. There goes the bat bomb on the top side. Queen is going to kill the enemy queen. Some girl on girl action right there. Offensive queen wins. To celebrate, she does the disco dance inside the tornado trap. Down she goes to the expos. But bats are going to be able to easily clear the rest of the base. Beautiful attack from Agent 33. What the heck? Very creative from him. Has cleanup troops all around the board as well. Two wizards on the south side. Archer on the top side. Bats trying to get these storages down, but it takes them at least three to four business weeks to get those down. Jeez. 33 seconds to go. Super Archer stuck in the core trying to beat through walls, but he's got this, right? Yeah, I'm just tripping myself out. He's got this all day long and a beautiful attack to start off the match for space station gaming against ninja's base 
Come on. Yeah, Super Archer's got that topside storage. 10 seconds to spare. Nicely done and a good start for us. Zoro is in with the next attack on Nick's base. Coming in with a, what the heck is this? Log Launcher, Mass Golem, Mass Witch. Oh, it's the Go Wee Wee. And let's see if he will indeed go Wee Wee all over Nick's base. Starting off with a few archers at nine o'clock. Okay. Golems in from the top left side of the base. A couple of witches and a super wizard up there can grab the wizard tower. Nice. Wall breakers are in. Ooh, he should have dropped him at the same time with a double finger drop though, because now the golem walks up. It's a little awkward. Log launcher to get him access to the town hall. King, queen, warden, everybody and their grandmother going inside the base. He's got a quad quake for the front side and the back side. Teehee. Going to give him access through the entire base. King's walking down south. Needs some super wizards to go in and help take out this town hall. He popped the warden ability super heckin' early. Couple of witches on the top side. Hopefully they can stay alive and get through all the point defenses up there. Rage spell trying to use it to get both the king and the queen inside the rage. And he actually did a good job with that rage spell. It's his only rage though. Yeti's in the log launcher. Should be able to take out this multi on the top side. Does, he, does this actually work? I think it does. Pops the queen ability. She takes out the enemy royal champion. He still has his royal champion that he drops from the top side of the base to keep the cleanup witches alive. The warden on the south side. Uh, all the troops in front of him die. He might go down soon as well, but he's actually going to grab a few more percentage points. Yo, he might get this. He still has a freeze to keep this royal champion alive. Lassie out in front trying to tank for her. Some of the skeletons in as well. Don't want to pop her ability just yet. Can we get through the bomb tower? We can. Pop the ability. Down go the next four defenses. Yo, he's got this. Zoro from Nice Monkey with the godly go wee wee all over Nick's base. Holy crap. That's a heartbreaker for Nick. <laughs> Lol. Royal Champion stays alive. She might be able to stay alive through the Tesla. Yeah, I think she does. Only needs, what, two or three shots? One. Two, down it goes, boom, bada bing, bada bam. A minute to spare, Nick's base absolutely deleted off the internet, beautiful hit from Nice Monkey. JD9 is in with the next attack for Space Station. Coming in with, he has 60 minions. What? Oh, JD9, what are you doing to us? <laughs> oh gosh, dear heavens, it's queen charge minions. Oh no, oh no. He starts with a balloon at 2 o'clock with the archer. Do a little funneling. Battle blimp for the eagle artillery. Nice and early. Gonna get the CC pool as well. Do we invest a rage spell? No, he's got invis? What? With the rage? Oh, did that blimp land in the wrong compartment? Was it supposed to go in the dead zone? Did he mess up his blimp? I think he might have ripped. What was the goal there? I don't even know. Shoot. I think JD9 messed up his blimp. Lol. Queen's gonna take out the lava dog on the top side though. We trying to funnel with a couple balloons. Find the Tesla farm. Uh, the queen still might go in for the multi. Okay. Okay. He's got five super wall breakers. He's trying to queen charge the entire base or something and just have minions for the back end. Oh gosh. Queen's gonna get the bomb tower. Walk up. A couple minions to funnel the army camp. Tell me queen goes inside the gap. And she does. Perfect pathing thus far from the queen. Marano with the raid. Hey yo, thank you so much. Welcome everybody to the stream. Queen takes out the inferno tower. Coco Loon finds a seeking air mine. That's perfect. Wallbreaker is not doing what I think he anticipated. Rage spell on the queen. Free spell is in. Queen has to pop the ability. Rip. That next wallbreaker on the left side. Queen's still gonna end up having to beat through a wall. This is awkward pathing. Gotta rage the queen and freeze. Yo, she picks the worst wall imaginable. Queen, you're throwing. She's never gonna be able to reach that single. Ooh. That's a big yikes, dude. That's a big yikes. She gets the expo. Inferno tower is locking onto that poor unicorn. Down goes the unicorn. Queen's in the core. We're gonna freeze the inferno tower again. Do we rage the queen again? Yo, this man has mass minions. And he sends the king at three. What, what? Sir, what? how are you gonna get the town hall? Oh, no. And the royal champion. No! <laughs> He's trying a one star. Oh, gosh. What are you doing, JD9? You're throwing, sir. Why would you use the royal champion over there, too? Oh, gosh. Rip. Invisibility spell for the royal champion. King's in a pop his ability. Another wall breaker. King wraps around the base. 
Bro, champion's not going to the core. He's got a ton of minions to use. Oh, God. Here comes the minion swarm from the bottom side of the base. One red bomb could end this man's whole career. And let's see. What's going to happen? Oh, there they are. Pop the warden ability. Nope, he lets him die. Pops the RC ability. Still got half our minions, but there's a town hall, sir. Sir. Oh, dear heavens. Pops the warden ability. Air skellies to distract. Five seconds to go. And it's going to be an OP. One star attack from the queen charge minion attack for JD9. Rest in pepperonis. And just like that. Nice Monkey are going to take the lead in this match. Puma is in on my base. Can he get it done for Nice Monkey? If they get another three-star attack, whew, Space Station Gaming are going to be in big trouble. He's got an early blimp for the multi-targeting Inferno Tower. And, ooh, no. It lands in the dead zone? Nope. He misses his blimp too, just like JD9. Although it doesn't matter. It's not Super Wizards. It's Super Minions. Okay. They'll be able to reach the scatter shot over the wall. Oh, two of them go south, though. He still has another three. The clone spell is OP. How much value can these guys get? They don't kill the enemy queen. Take out another Tesla there on the south side. Road champion on the bottom to grab the scatter shot. Okay, that's some decent value from the super minion opener. Interesting. Road champion needs to pop her ability to take care of these Teslas. There we go, and she does. Queen on the bottom side to wrap around. We're going to try to suey the town hall now, it looks like. He's found a second and a third skelly trap. Tons of skelly traps. My goodness gracious. Drops the king. Was that too early? No, that was probably perfect. King out in front of the queen. We still have more troops to pull from the CC, I believe. Only one ice golem has come out so far. Pops the king ability to get the inferno tower down. Here comes the lava dog. Queen's going to get stuck on that before she can fight. The Town Hall. King finds the Tornado Trap. He's doing the Disco Dance with his Yak Buddy, but the Yak dies to the Giant Bomb's rip. Couple balloons to get the cannon down. That's probably a good call, so the Queen can stay alive. We need the Queen to take out this Town Hall, or else we're going to be in big trouble. We're going to be in big trouble. She's got to pop her ability. The Poison Spell was off. Misses five, six of the pops. Queen's not getting the Town Hall, sir. Uh-oh. The timing with the Lava Hound was awkward for the Queen. She's going to activate it? No. Town Hall's not even activated. Ooh, this is really awkward now. Drops the Warden from 3 o'clock. The Lava... Or not the Lava Hound. Rip. The Eagle Artillery is awake. Targeting balloons. Sneaking a few more loons. We're trying to get Warden to just snipe the Town Hall. Okay. He can wake it up. Except he's switching. No, he goes for the Gold Storage. Oh, man, this is awkward, dude. He needs that Town Hall to wake up. Just send a minion, bro. One minion. One minion. Puma. What are you doing, mister? One minion, please. Thank you. Finally. Minion to wake up the town hall. Pop the warden ability. We haste out of it. 35 seconds to go. This is a big fat time fill, if nothing else. The rest of the Lalo from the top side with all three lava hounds. A freeze on the multi. Hello, Giga Poison damage, bro. The warden and every single loon. Oh, they got absolutely clapped by that Giga Poison. Jeez. Lalo on the top side gets like at least three buildings before it dies. Rip. How much percent can he get? Two Lava Hounds get way out in front. They're not going to get a whole lot of value by themselves. All the loons got absolutely clan clashed. Five more seconds to go for cleanup. We're at 69% and he runs out of time. Another 69% for Nice Monkey. Nice. Seems like all they know how to do is either triple or get 69%. I like it. Hereticus is in with the next attack for Space Station. If we can triple here, we're going to tie it up on stars and take the lead on percent. Okay. Queen over at 1 o'clock. It's going to be a Queen Charge Lalo here from Gereticus on this old school Legends base. Yeah, this is an old base. My goodness gracious. Queen from 1 o'clock. Where's the first wall break? Got to give her access to take out that Warden Tower. He's being very patient with the wall break. There he goes. Deploys it right there on the gold mine. How are we going to funnel the outside? There goes the King to walk the outside of the base. Queen goes in. Second wall break to hit the junction. Maybe. Sir, there's the wall breaker. Perfect placement on the wall breaker. Queen can take out the double cannon, take out the air defense, take out the archer tower. Ooh, but she's walking south. She's not going in for the warden. We send the royal champion from the top side to try and clear all that stuff. 
We should be able to wall break again all the way to the core. And that's going to be a beautiful wall break if he's able to get it done. Oh, look at this wall breaker from downtown. Gets the three-pointer right there. Invisibility spell to help the Royal Champion. That's nice. Triple Ice Golem CC. Drops the poison nice and early. Royal Champion can pop her ability. Take out the multi. That's cash money, sir. Down goes the multi. Queen can finish off the Ice Golem. She will get the Eagle Artillery. Royal Champion grabs the Archer Tower as well. I think the Queen might even get this multi on the right side. He still has a Battle Blimp for the Town Hall. Ooh, it might be worth it to go balls to the walls. And Lalo from 10 o'clock. Does he? Yes, he does. Here we go. Lalo from the opposite side of the Town Hall. Queen grabs the Wizard Tower. She's going to walk to the right. She will indeed grab the multi on the right. I think, can she reach the Scatter? Uh, no, she can't. Cannot reach the scatter. Got to pop her ability. That is so much DPS right there. Down goes the multi. Maybe. Bro, why is she beating on a wall? Queen, you imbecile. She could have reached the multi. She beats on a wall. Trying to go for the girl on girl action. She really wanted that queen. Holy crap. The multi stays up because of that. Does that save the base? There goes the last rage. Town Hall needs to drop. Loons are going to go into the Giga Poison. Going to be bad news bears for these loons. Last couple loons from the south side of the base. Tornado Trap, hello. Multi still up. Scatter still up. Warden is in the Giga Poison, but he's still alive. And the loons are dropping like flies. It's gonna be a defense. The queen arguably was throwing, beating on a wall for the enemy queen. My goodness gracious. And he ends it at 93%. Rip. Ninja is in with a fourth attack for Nice Monkey. Once again, they have a chance to take a commanding lead if they can get another triple. He's going in with a couple of balloons from the two o'clock side of the base. Wall breaker to give him access to the Eagle Artillery. Looks like we're gonna send the King in there. Ice Golem out in front to lead the charge. The Queen in as well. Okay. They're gonna be able to go in, take out the Eagle, get some more additional value on top of that. Down goes the Eagle. Ice Golem pops and freezes the cannon and the Archer Tower. King can pop his ability soon. Should be able to take out the enemy queen here. Yep. Road Champion from 430. Going to go in toward the multi. But there is a Tesla that pops. If there's more Teslas and a Skelly Trap, this could cause problems for the Road Champion. We're going to drop the invisibility. He makes the Archer Tower and the cannon invisible. So the RC goes straight for the multi. Can pop her ability. Down it goes. Then she can one-shot the cannon, start working on the Royal Champion. Some girl-on-girl -girl action. It's an even fight. Oh, but the defending RC wins. Dragons from the top side of the base. Queen with the Unicorn. Gonna have to pop her ability. Don't tell me she dies through the ability. She can finish off the Royal Champion. Oh, oh the scatter kills her through the ability. Royal Champion stays alive on defense. Rage and early Warden ability here from the top side of the base. Does the Blimp make it all the way downtown? Maybe. Mass Headhunter CC. He has to freeze it because the Warden ability was heckin' early. Blimp makes it to the Town Hall. No Tornado Trap to stop it. Whew, so it's not going to be a one-star, at least. He does have Bats with two freezes. No Ice Golems to tank that Wizard Tower. That's a little unfortunate because I don't think he can hit the Wizard Tower and the Multi with the same freeze. Which begs the question, what the heck can he even do with these Bats? Still has plenty of Dragons alive. Sends the Bats from 9 o'clock. Okay. Dragons are trying their best to tank the multi, but with only two freezes, this is bad news bears. There goes the first freeze. He's going to have to drop the second one very early as well. There goes the second freeze. That's all our freezes. He should be able to get the Inferno Tower down if only he had one balloon or something, anything to tank that wizard tower. And this would have been a triple. The little wizard tower that could saves the base for Gereticus, maybe. Don't tell me I jinxed myself. Hold up. Hold up, he's got time. Oh shoot, he's got plenty of time. 37 seconds. Oh, come on, little wizard tower. You know you want to save the base. It kills the goblin. Seeking air mines, maybe? Please? Gar, tell me you got two seeking air mines over here. Oh, down goes the storage. The owl is still alive as well. 20 seconds on the clock. No seeking air mines. Rip. Does the base fall? I think he's got plenty of time. E-Dragon chains the barracks as well. 10 seconds to get two more buildings. Down goes the collector. Down goes the army camp. And with like one second, two seconds to spare, Ninja gets the triple for Nice Monkey. Rip. And Nick is in with the fourth attack for Space Station. He needs to triple if we're going to win this match. <laughs> 
He's bringing Valkyries and Super Valks. Nick, you're an air attacker. Oh no, what is he doing? Starts off with a warden walk on the top side of the base. Okay, gonna charge the town hall here nice and early. Oh dear heavens, he's got two heals and a jump spell and two super wall breakers. I'm very scared to see Nick use Valkyries. I don't know if I've ever seen this before. Town Hall is already awake. The owl woke it up with a chain value. I'm gonna need to rage the warden right here. Town Hall will go down. Warden's having a fight against two builders, three builders repairing the Town Hall. Holy crap. That Town Hall is getting a lot of HP buff from those three builders, jeez. Eventually the warden gets through it though. And then what's the next plan? I'm guessing enter from the top right side. Down goes the Town Hall, down goes the Archer Tower, and then send the Valkyries to fly through the base. There goes the golem out in front. Queen in as well. Need the king to funnel. Ooh, the king might take too long. Siege barracks as well. Valkyries are going to go very quickly. Where's the wall break? There's the first wall breaker. All right, all right, all right. There's the first super valk on the outside. Here come the rest. They're going inside. Ice golem pops. Normal valks with the super valks. Super valks out in front should give little baby rage spells for the normal valks. That's kind of OP. I like it. King of Siege Barracks should be able to clear the 3 o'clock compartment. Pops the Warden ability to keep everybody alive. Queen's going to get through the Lava Dog. Only takes her 10 and a half years. Eventually that goes down. Little baby Rage Spells from the Super Valks and his own Rage Spell working in combination together with the Heal Spell. Okay. Hogs from the Siege Barracks to go get the uh, Scatter Shot. Where are the Super Valks? Did they all get wrecked? I think they did. They cleared out like most of the base though. That's insane. Oh, he still has a bunch alive in the southern side of the base. Royal Champion popped her ability for some reason. She must have been low on HP because of the Tesla farm. We still got Heroes alive. We still got Queen alive. Single target in front of tower might force the Queen's ability. No, we're going to freeze. Save her ability for later. All the spells are gone. Bro, he's going to get it. Wizards for cleanup. 50 seconds on the clock. He's got it. Nick. With the Valks! Bro, I've never seen Nick use Mass Valk. What the heck? Nick OP. We got Hogs out in front. Tanking for the Royal Champion. Warden's still alive. Queen's still alive. Warden is tanking the single target Inferno Tower like a boss. Down he goes. Hogs get out in front of the Royal Champion. Skelly Trap pops, but it doesn't matter. He's got time for days. Valkyries and a Super Valk still alive. Healer still alive. Queen at full health. Wizard all over the place. Royal Champion doing cleanup. Nick getting it done when Space Station needs him the most. Interesting looking air attack right there. But it's a triple. GG's to Space Station right there. Rainberry is in on Agent 33's base. Coming in with the last attack for Nice Monkey if he gets the three star. Nice Monkey will win the war. If he doesn't, then I have a chance to win the match for Space Station. Let's see what he can do here. Lots of Sneaky Goblins. Bro, he brought like 20 Sneaky Goblins to this attack. What the heck? They're getting wrecked by this multi-mortar right now. Down goes the gold storage. Sends one more to activate the town hall. He's got 10 more in the bag. Here. Oh, that was too early. The multi-mortar is going to hit. Sir, what are you doing? He's got the invis anyway. Down goes the town hall. Sends in one more, two more. All right, Town Hall drops. Whew, that was looking sketchy for a second. Quake with lightnings for the Inferno Tower over at 730. Okay. So has one skeleton spell, two invisibilities. Sends the King, the Ice Golem, the Log Launcher from 9 o'clock. Don't tell me he uses Warden on ground. Oh, this man thinks he's Nick. What the heck? Skeleton spell out in front to distract as well. Was the skeleton spell too early though? Not sure. King goes inside. We use a balloon over here to finish off the mortar and the cannon. Ice golem with royal champion from six o'clock. Lava hound pops. Pops the warden ability to save the king and the log launcher. We got ice golems making their way to the court with the yetis. Does queen go outside? Nope, she stays in. Okay. How far did the log launcher get? It didn't even get him access to that multi, did it? Row champion should be able to pick up the multi. We do have two invisibility spells. Can he reach the multi? No, I don't think he can. Has to pop the row champ ability soon. There goes an the invisibility to keep her alive. Can pop the ability. Down goes the multi. Down goes the archer tower. Down goes the air defense. One more invisibility and she'll get the scatter. Sir, drop it. And he does. Down goes the scatter. The multi on the top side stays up. But with the queen's ability, what can she get? Has to pop her ability. We start the lava from the top side of the base. We do indeed pop her ability. Down goes the next builder hut. No, it stays up. 
Queen can get the scatter. Warden is barely alive. He might switch to the Lalo, but I think the multi might kill him. No, Warden wants to stay with the Queen. Okay, he is going to go help the Lalo. He freezes the multi. There's one balloon there. Bro, use another freeze there. Tell me the one balloon can solo the multi. <gasps> no way. That sweeper's being very pesky, though. Oh, the balloon goes down. The little multi that could saves the base. And it's going to be a defense for Agent 33. Very good percent here from Rainberry. Pretty creative attack with the Lalo. Almost had it. But the multi says, no way, Jose, not today. And now Lexnos with a chance to win the match here for Space Station Gaming with the last attack. Minions should be able to get one more percentage point, I think. Does he have enough time to get that storage? The builder is actually healing the storage, so he doesn't have enough time. Rip. OP builder right there. Storage stays up and it falls short at 95%. And here we go with the last attack of the match. Let's see if I can get it done and save the day for Space Station. We're going in with a Blizzard Lalo on Rainberry's base. It's probably baited. He knows what I like to use, but we're still going to try to make it work. Where are the sweepers? Okay, it's facing that way. There's one seeking air mine. There's two. There's three. There's the tornado. We're going to let that expire first and send another one of these. Blimp after the tornado's gone. Thank you, ma'am. You'll be able to pop right there. Two, three. Now let's drop that. Three, four. Boom. Two, three, four. Boom. Two, three, four. Boom. I'm going to let them die. We're going to pull Queen or Hound up here. Go for the Archer Tower. Go for the Archer Tower. Thank you. Got all the value I needed. He did try to bait that with the tornado, but I didn't fall for it. Drop this here. Boom. Boom. Start our funnel over here. Now we can deploy the king. Ice Golem is in. Drop the wizard. Gotta fight the road champion. Perfect. Uh, the sneaky goblins are not going to the right spot. That's okay, doesn't matter. King goes inside. Send the Royal Champion there to help assist. I was supposed to use these headhunters earlier. Nice, Queen should be able to pick up both sweepers for me. I'm gonna start this Lalo, keep the Royal Champion alive, please. Boom, boom, boom. Do this. Let's do that. Paste up over here. Let's uh, go ahead and pop this RC ability. Freeze up. Is this wrecked or what? 30 seconds on the clock. Please don't be a time fail, sir. Oh, baby, Lex Toast with the four swag spells to win the match. Holy crap. Oh, geez. Getting it done. Absolutely demolishing Rainberry's base. Four spells left over. As we check out the stats, it's going to be a 12 to 12 finish. Even with the one star, it's going to be a victory for Space Station Gaming. 94% to 86.6.